Just another example of uh, the Model S using shore power. Um, right now I got it plugged into my uh, 240 volt outlet. Charging complete. Looks like uh, on a 90% on a charge, a uh, daily charge. Uh, I lost a few miles. I'm down to 182. It pretty much popped up out of nowhere. Uh, my my uh, range charge seems to be uh, charging to 206, uh, which is used to be 209. I might have to do a balance charge, but uh, 206, and it finally completes. However, I can usually drive it an extra four, sometimes five miles before it drops down to 205. So that seems to show that, well, even though the rated range is showing that it's lower, uh, it has not actually dropped lower physically with the batteries. I uh, could have to, it net just happened when, once I now I switched to uh, firmware 4.5 and now there's firmware 5 out. Uh, anyways, I have my air conditioning on uh, set as range range uh, for the climate control system. Uh, AC's on with maximum speed of 8. Uh, cooling fan speed of 8. And uh, the car is indeed drawing shore power. So you can see it's not charging, but over here we're drawing 10 amps, sometimes 11, to power the air conditioning. Now watch, shut off AC, and it drops. Let's turn AC back on, because I want it nice and cool, it's going to be a hot one. Already at 79, and it's, well I guess it's 9.30 this in the morning. Uh, now let's see what happens if I turn the fan speed down a bit. It says around 5 amp maximum fan speed. Slowly ramping up. Now we're about 6 amps. So just to recap, when we were at 10 amps on the 240 line, that's the same as drawing 20 amps on a 110 or 120 line. My whole house air conditioner only draws 23 amps and 240. So the Model S in range mode air conditioning draws half as much as my whole house AC. I'm sure there's more to it, so I'm not going to dig too much into that, but uh, I'm sure there's other stuff going on. Poss potentially it's balancing the battery. Who knows what else this car is doing. This thing's a technological marvel. Um, Elon Musk is a genius, and um, I really think he needs to change his name. Uh, we really could use a real-life Tony Stark, and he seems to be as close as we're going to get. Actually, Einstein would probably be the closest we'd, we'd get. Or no, Nikola Tesla would probably be one of the closest we'd get. Unfortunately, he's no longer. They're no longer alive. So, at least Einstein's brain is still around. Maybe they can put it in a robot or something in the future. But uh, Elon Musk, if you listen to me, uh, I don't know. Should we start a petition to have you change your name to uh, Tony Stark? Nah, you're too down to earth for that. Uh, anyways, uh, Elon, thanks for an awesome car, and uh, I'm going to thoroughly enjoy it. Cheers.